So I'm out at a job here today in Lakemba. Basically, there's a house at the front and down the back, there's a granny's flat. So MBN's only going to install the leading cable to the granny flat here. We've got the um, box here, so it's HFC, so it's an RG6 cable. So we're going to run a cable under this front house and then between the granny flat and the main house, we're going to go aerial and then uh, connect it onto the coaxial for the internals. Um, on the side of the granny flat. So I've got my aerial RGC quad shield here, RG6 I should say. Um, so you can see there, there's the um, the quad shielded cable and then this part here, the other part, is the strand, the tension strand that takes tension when it goes aerial. So now I'm going to put a couple of hooks in and then I'll strand this cable across and that'll be the first part of the job. Gonna put a hook in up here, and then gonna put a hook in over the granny flat. So now I've rolled out what I need to do this span, and sort of measured it off, because we're certainly gonna take the um, containery part of it, the tension part of it, out here and chop it, and then from the rest up, it's gonna be underneath the house, so it doesn't need it. So we'll be able to make our loop. I'm doing it this way, then I can pull it across and get it nice and straight at this end before I drill the hook in make sure there's no problems this one's going to be a bit low because of the height of everything and the height of this fence um, the fence is really high but uh yeah no one's going to be able to grab it but um yeah they've said it's okay to be low otherwise they would have had to put extension parts on the roof and they didn't want to do that so i've cut here where i want to join it i mean um join it up to the hook and you can see the tension wire there and that just sort of peels away from the rest of the cable like so and then we'll put like a um, a little device on that so that can then hook onto my hook. I'll show you that. Now I've got my little cable um, device thing on here so that takes all the tension and it's just connected to the tension wire um, and then that hooks onto my hook. So I've now strung up the aerial cable and that's going across the granny flat here and now we're going to do a bit of conduit work and uh, we're going to put a box on here for them take a conduit up, I'm going to clip it along, the cable along this way and then uh, yeah, so I've already got the cable now through this end here um, you can't see it because it's all tucked away uh, but this is an external cable, this is the ones I use for the lead-ins but that is clipped up in behind, well um, cable tied behind here and then it's just popping out down through there so you don't even see it and that's now run under the house all the way up to the front and pokes out there where the box is um, for MBN to connect. Now we're just going to do this last bit here and then we're done. It got my conduit on now. I've done the termination to the inside cable to the leading cable that we've just run. Put our conduit up the wall, run it across, and now I'm just going to go get it into the box and then we're good. And then the final part is coming through. Now sitting here ready for MBN to do their part.